The purpose of this video is to help you with the nervous models for the Zoology 252 class. Specifically, we will go over learning strategies on how you can learn these models. This video will include discussion regarding the brain, the spinal cord, the peripheral nerve guy with the green background, as well as the purple nervous model, including the cat. The first thing is to not become overwhelmed. Break down the information and look at the structures you're responsible for. On the left-hand side of your screen, you will see that all the structures have been identified. However, you are only responsible for the ones on the right-hand side of your screen. The ones in the middle I have marked identifying those that you are not responsible for. Make sure you focus on the ones you are responsible for that you need to know. Another strategy is to merge the information together. So take one model and compare it to another model. Here, I have the spinal cord with purple nervous model, and these can go together because of a spinal reflex. There's another video regarding a spinal reflex. Another example of merging models together would be the purple nervous model along with its cap and the 3D brain. You can compare lobes of the brain, you can also compare the inner workings. You will see that some structures have the same names and are located on both models. You can also identify different functions and compare and contrast what's listed. The next would be the purple model with the peripheral nerve guide. Specifically on the purple model, look at the silhouette. Here you can identify each plexus and then compare it to the green nervous guy so that you can get more details on what is going to branch off from those different plexi. Make sure that you compare the names and functions as I mentioned before. Comparing a name on one model to the name on the other may show some similarities or differences, as well as the functions. Here's an example of the 3D brain model and the purple nervous model. Let's look more specifically at a structure. Here I have circled the pineal gland at number 54 on the 3D brain model and at number 10 on the purple model. You will notice that the name is slightly different. On one, it's identified as a gland and on the other, it's identified as a body. The functions are also slightly different. On the 3D brain model, it's going to identify it as circadian rhythm and also that it produces melatonin, which is a hormone. On the purple model, it just says that the function is circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythm is your sleep cycle. I mention this because if it shows up on an exam and ask what is the function for number 10 or what hormone is produced at number 10, you should know that the hormone is going to be melatonin based off of your knowledge of the other model. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Please check out my channel for additional videos.